obviously in kind of a tough second half. Uh, can you get pressure on the floating just uh, how frustrating was it to be in there for such a great first half? I mean, we just shot ourselves in the foot. I mean, I mean, I mean, we had 11 penalties, I believe. Um, you know, just shot ourselves in the foot, false starts, um, you know, wrong formations, just little stuff like that. You know, we know we need to clean up, but man, I'm proud of his help. I'm proud of I'm proud of my guys a lot. I mean, we battled against the best team in the country and should have won the game. Oh, when Juice went down, what? What was the feeling on the sideline, and did you talk to him after um, he, he went out? Yeah, next man up mentality. You know, he knows that too. Um, obviously, you know, sucks to see him out because he would have helped us. But you know, guys like Omega came in and made big time plays, and I'm proud of him for sure. Spencer, you talked about your collaboration with Coach Loggins and that you can go into your bag. What percentage of plays were you able to change today, and is it hard to do that in a big lock? loud stadium like this. Yeah, it's tough to do it in the big loud stadium. Dow called a hell of a game. It had us in a great, great position. 14-3 um, going in the half. Um, obviously, Georgia made you know some changes at half, but like I said, we shot ourselves in the foot. We were driving the ball, I feel like, every drive. Um, moving the ball at a high clip. We just had to finish down there and protect the ball game. I mean, how many explosive plays did we have? It's probably not on here, but we had a good amount of explosive plays. But the penalty has just killed us. Just the dumb stuff that we can't avoid. And, uh, you know, we'll get better at that. Yeah. Omega, what, uh, with, with Juice going down, and you've obviously you know, been ready and playing for him a lot the last couple months. How much did that help you be, being able to be ready to come in today and, and make an impact? Um, just preparation. You know, um, like Spencer said, um, having that next man mentality up and, you know, just preparing throughout the week, you know, just being ready always, you know, um, knowing anything can happen at any moment. And, you know, when your number being called, just go out there and execute and do your job. Good luck, John. Spencer, you all had all the momentum going into halftime in that first drive of the third quarter. You talked about self-inflicted wounds that you all were backed up. How much did the momentum shift in, in that moment after that long touchdown drive that you all got into it after you all slowed it down, I guess? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was tough to communicate backed up to their student section back there. You know, it's a tough spot to be in, um, but you know, we, we protected the ball, punted it back to them. I don't know if they scored again. Um, might have got a field goal, but I think our, our defense played a great job. Did a great job tonight. Um, like I said, just the self-inflicted stuff. Um, you know, we cleaned that up. You know, outcomes probably a little different. Come on. Spencer, Trey and Trove got it from the snaps on the offense line. I already talked about communication being difficult, but how do you feel like those two guys did, and, and how was communication on the offense line? The whole line as a whole played great. I mean, I, I stayed off the ground a good amount of the night. Um, they did a great job. Outstanding. Okay. Um, Omega playing, you know, significant snaps against a team like Georgia for the first time. Just what was that experience like for you, and did you kind of feel the, the confidence grow as the game went on? Um, you know, it all starts on Tuesday, first day of practice, you know, we're going out there. Like I said, just preparation, you know, being ready for moments like these, um, practicing the situations that came up out there all the time. So it really wasn't nothing new, you know, just my co the coaches always tell me, like, just stay calm, go out there and play your game. And that's all I did. Hey, Spencer, you said that you showed the day work 
just as hard as me. So I got to show some respect towards them. Um, I know they'll make up for it. You know, I know uh, we had young young old lineman. Tree had a, a false start or two today, and I just talked him up because I knew he was playing his butt off. Um, you know, same with some other guys up front, some receivers. Um, you know, Mac had a little false start or, or something, but he showed up and made plays after that. So I, I believe in him. Um, I trust in him, and that's all that matters. Great. Uh, in the first half, you were 16 for 18. Um, First, what went well in the first half, and then in the second half, um, did they do something different in the second half that you guys doing the defense? I mean, yeah, one of the best, you know, if not the best defenses in the country. They, they made some changes I have. Um, you know, credit to obviously their defensive um, you know, coach. Uh, they did some good things, and you know, we, we couldn't really get our running game going. So I mean, they knew we were throwing it a lot of the time. Timed up some of our silent snaps, but you know, they, did, they did a good job. But like I said, self inflicted wounds, I think, hurt us. Thank you.